I'm at Fagan Park in the northwestern Sydney suburb of Galston in the Hornsby Shire. And it's a beautiful park with lots of open spaces and waterways. But the reason I'm here is to have a look at the gardens of many nations. And in fact, over the next three weeks, I'm going to take you on a global expedition where we'll look at different gardens and different styles from different countries and continents. I'd like to think of it as Ruck's Global Garden Tour. Fagan Park has some great history to it as well. Covering around 55 hectares, it was once a citrus orchard and then turned into a Jersey cattle farm. The original homestead from the 1800s still stands, along with the sheds and workshops now used as a museum. Along with these are many international gardens. First stop on the tour, the Mediterranean Garden. And this has got some classic Mediterranean design elements. Lots of symmetry, got a couple of topiaries in tubs at the front there. And the colour of the cement, got that Tuscan sort of feel to it. And then as you come up, you've got that excellent focal point at the back there, which is a really nice design touch. Many of the plants in the Mediterranean Garden are in fact well suited to our Australian climate. Some of the shrubs here include buxus, viburnum and rosemary. And of course, this one here, the classic lavender. Now, this is French lavender, but you can also get English and Italian. But French lavender will give you the longest flowering period. A lot of the plants are low growing and hedging shrubs, but the use of trees is also a real feature. For the larger shrubs and small trees, we've got loris, oleander and capressus, giving us that classic conifer look. And this one here, the bay tree, this is the one used in cooking, but here it's also making a fantastic hedge. I reckon it's a plant that's a little underused. Loris, it's a beauty. And over here, a little bit of Mediterranean art, probably around 15th century. On the southern shores of the Mediterranean, you, of course, of the continent of Africa. And no ruck tour would be complete without a stop off here to check out some of the sassy species. And I'm sure you'll recognize some of them. There's Harpophyllum, Strelitzias, Phoenix, Proteas, Agapanthus, Diades, and some sensational succulents. There's the Aloes, Euphorbia, Aeonium, and the Crassulas. I tell you what, Africa's got some good gear.